And then what, you, what we can start to do now that we've got all this information and it's looking approximately correct, nothing is looking skewed, is that we can actually now start to style this. So that's pretty simple. What you're going to do, and I'm just going to zoom in here. Um, so you'll see I've already started to style my data. You can tell my land use has some different colors. My buildings have some different colors. I'm going to turn off the land use for now. And um, so we're going we're gonna to look at styling the layers. So say I have my, my roads layer here. And uh, your roads will come in, all of your data will come in in some silly default color. It might be maroon, it might be bright green, whatever it is. So what we're going to do is make sure you have the symbology tab selected here. Um, and you should see a line and simple line. And then you should see these sort of uh, patterns that you could choose here as well. I'm just going to go with the simple line. And I'm going to change the color to, let's do... Let's do kind of like an orangey yellow, something like that, and say OK. I'm going to leave the stroke width as it is, and I'm going to just say Apply, and we'll see what we've got. OK, so you can see that all my roads just turned orange. So you can adjust the stroke width, you can adjust the stroke style if you want to be a dashed line for whatever reason. You can play around with this a little bit. The other thing that we can do, though, is we can style our data according to some of its properties. So if we go to Categorized here, and then we click on Value to see the different property types. So you can see here um, all of these different properties that a road in OSM might have. So let's go down to... Um, I want to find one that I think most of them are probably going to... Let's go down to max speed. So what you're going to do is you're going to say classify. Okay, so now we see all of these different maximum speeds. You'll see that the, the colors are pretty random, so here instead of random colors, I'm going to color them um, red to gray. And then you can see that that updated. So the slowest roads are red, the fastest are gray. I actually want it to be the reverse of that. So I'm just going to click this drop down and say invert color ramp. Now the slowest roads are gray and the fastest are red. But I don't really like that the middle are white because they're not going to show up well. So we're going to choose this other, we're going to choose this other color ramp. So now we've got the slowest roads are, um, are blue and the fastest are yellow. I'm going to uncheck all others because that'll color... Um, actually, we can just double, double click that and change this color to something like a gray so it won't really show up that much. Because we don't... all others means that there's no data available for it, which means it could be a 5 mile an hour road or it could be a 50 mile an hour road. We don't know. So we're just going to um, basically turn those off. Then we say apply, and let's see what we get. All right, so I can see kind of at a glance that most of the roads in Blacksburg don't have a speed assigned to them, but I can see a couple do. So if we say OK, and then if we zoom out a little bit, I can see, for instance, that this is one of the faster roads here that goes down along the side of campus. Um, you can see this is 420 here that cuts down that doesn't have a speed assigned to it. Pretty sure this is Patrick Henry, um, but I'm not 100% sure it's Patrick Henry, so let's go ahead and double check that. So what I can do, really similar to what we did earlier in the OpenStreetMap, is we can identify the feature by clicking on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to the top, to this little arrow with the eye, identify feature, click on that. And then we're going to go ahead and click on this road. Yep. And then we can kind of scroll down here and see 
if it is, okay, it's Price's Fork, not Patrick Henry. So Price's Fork Road is the name. It's assigned a 40 mile per hour um, assignment. So it, what if we didn't want to just guess what kind of properties these might have? So if we wanted to say, I would like to know ahead of time if this is going to mostly have the properties that I'm looking for or not. What you can do is you can right click and you go to open attribute table. So this is that spreadsheet I mentioned earlier where it's all of the different aspects of the geometries in this layer. So I can see, if I expand this a little bit, like I mentioned each feature, right? So each basically each road or each segment of road. And then here across the, in the columns, you have the different possible types of data uh, or possible um, um, aspects of that data. So you can see most of it is null for, for at least these first few roads. If we keep scrolling over, that means there's no data that's been inputted for that road for that type. Um, service has a couple things. Uh, over here in the tiger, that means it came from an official source. So tiger is kind of the base layer highway data that comes from the federal government. Um, but here with name, I can see actually quite a few of them do have names assigned to them. So that might be kind of a promising category to look at for coloring the data. Um, surface also seems to have quite a bit. So if we want to color it by surface type, that might be a good option. And then um, the highway type also has quite a bit of information in it. Okay, so we see that highway has quite a bit of information filled out. So we're going to go ahead and try and color it by that and see if it makes a difference in what shows up. So we close the attribute table. We go back into the styling window by double clicking on the layer. Or you can also right click and go to properties. And then we're going to change this value from max speed to what we just saw in the, uh, in the attribute table, which was highway. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to go ahead and reclassify. And you can just say yes. All right, so we see all of these different classifications. And this isn't so much uh, a linear type, right? These are all sort of different. Um, so we're going to just go ahead and go with a, a random color ramp for this. And then we'll say apply. And then we can see most of the roads are showing up different colors. So that's starting to get a little bit uh, more interesting. But we're still not learning a whole lot about it from this, except which roads have different classifications. So what I like to do, especially when you have this many different categories, is start to look for things that might be useful to group together. So I think motorway link and motorway can probably be... Um, be, be combined. So what you can do is you can select those both and then right click and say merge categories. Um, I think that path and pedestrian, sorry that it keeps jerking me over. Let me see if I can fix that. So path and pedestrian and footway. Let's see what else. Those can probably all be linked, so we'll merge those. Um, construction and service. I suppose those should be separate. Do primary and primary link can be combined, so we'll merge those. Proposed, I think I'm just going to go ahead and turn off. Secondary and secondary link. We'll merge those. Um, tertiary and tertiary link. We'll merge those. And if you want to know what these categories mean, like what falls into them, you can go to the OSM website. OSM has a really extensive wiki, which is kind of like a, um, a like a complimentary like manual, like a helpful manual that defines all of their terms. 
So you can go to their wiki and see what all of these things technically mean and why certain roads are classified the way they are. Uh, and then there's unclassified. So what I really want to understand here um, is what roads are meant for pedestrians and bikes and which ones are meant for cars and which are considered primary versus secondary versus tertiary. So I've got proposed turned off. I'm going to keep all other values on and I'll keep unclassified on as well. But we'll, we'll merge those because that seems like basically it means the same thing. Merge categories. Not letting us do that. Um, and then residential, we'll keep cycleway. I'm going to keep as a separate one. Closed, I'm going to turn off. Construction, I'm going to turn off. Um, crossing, we'll keep on. Um, we'll merge that with pedestrian as well. So we're starting to get some things. So now I'm going to start to color them a little bit by the different types. So crossing and pedestrians, we're going to make those... We're going to make those green. Okay. Um, let's make it a slightly darker green so we can see it a little bit more easily. Just go with that. Great. We're going to do um, cycleways, also green, but we'll do it a slightly different shade of green. So we're going to go with kind of a darker forest green for that. Okay. So we can see those two different kind of colors of green. Um, motorway, we'll leave that color. Primary, we're going to color red. So it really stands out, or orange. It's fine. And then. Um, Secondary, we're going to color yellow, kind of an orangey yellow, something like that, or gold. Okay. And then service, we'll color gray. Right, so I'm just kind of trying to choose some colors that intuitively fit with the type of data. Steps, we'll make a different kind of green. So those are still pedestrian, but we'll make those maybe sort of more of a light green like that. And then tertiary, we went with orange for primary and yellow for secondary. So tertiary, we're going to go with, um, let's go with a, a lighter shade of yellow for that. Something that we don't want to confuse with the, yeah, we'll go with that, with the pedestrian steps color. Okay. Uh, and then track we'll leave like that. Trunk and trunk link will make this red, something like that. And then unclassified we'll leave those on the red spectrum as well. Um, so what we should have now is the more pedestrian oriented things are sort of cooler colors like greens, and then the more car oriented things are um, are brighter colors. Uh, kind of going from the the, the most car heavy, um, which is the orangish, to the least car heavy, which is the yellowish. So now we've got a spectrum that we've started to build up here. Um, and the motorway is going to be like a highway, right? So that one really stands out. That's that purple. Okay. So now when we look at the data, we're starting to put a little bit of... Um, we're starting to distinguish it a little bit so that we can start to see like where, so this is, you know, the Huckleberry Trail here. This is a pedestrian uh, path. Just to confirm that, we can click on it. We can scroll down and it's just called a cycleway, but that's the that's part of the Huckleberry Trail, um, I believe. So you can, you can see sort of where the pedestrian friendly parts of Blacksburg are versus the less pedestrian friendly. You can see some of these colors I chose maybe were not the best colors. So the yellow doesn't really show up that well. I'm gonna go back to the hand here. Um, but generally we're starting to get a sense of like where the cars are versus where the people are. And we can start to see these pedestrian friendly trails that run through a lot of the city, right? So that's kind of interesting. All right. Great, so now we've got a working looking map. Um, 
So before we go to the map layout view of this, I want to make those yellow roads a little bit more visible because they're pretty hard to see. So I'm going to go back into the roads layer and darken those up a little bit. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Pretty easy to tell between the car ways and the pedestrian ways. 